Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? Hello, welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. What are you seeking? All right. Um, all right. some deep breaths all right so we're gonna do a collective once again it's supposed to be in a personal reading um person forgot <laughs> can't get a hold of them just fine um i have a lot of energy of my own so i feel like um it's not the right time um Oh, my sprayer doesn't work. So I'm going to um, dab some pure love. Okay. And we're going to do uh, what's my life purpose or what's my purpose with this job or this situation. So um, just apply it to however it, it resonates with you. Um, something specific might actually come out in this reading. Um, I did already kind of pull a card out. So in my sweet ass affirmations to deck, right on top of the deck, I ended up pulling this card here. I am the blessing I've been waiting for. Are you nervous to share or express your ideas, creations, or truth? Are you afraid those you care about might judge you or abandon you? You may feel you're disappointing or hurting your loved ones by stepping into your light, but you are also influencing them to level up. If they care about you, they will come around to support you. If they don't, the universe moved them out of the way for a reason. Sometimes it takes complete solitude to realize those who do not make you feel ecstatic and alive are too small for you. You are the blessing you've been waiting for. So that really resonates with me and what I'm going through and the energy that I'm feeling. And we're in Mer Mercury retrograde right now. I'm feeling a lot of that energy, miscommunications, um, issues with technology. Um, so I believe that we moved from Virgo and now we are in Leo of this retrograde. <clears throat> so it's about... You know, well, Virgo is about serving others and perfectionism. And Leo is about your courage in the sun. So there's definitely a lot of energy floating around with that right now. Um, and we just went through the 888 Lion's Gate portal, which was very intense. Um... So between the Lion's Gate and this Mercury in retrograde, um, which seemingly is going backwards, it's not really going backwards, it's kind of more standing still. Um, there's a lot of energy. It's been very intense. Um, I don't know if you've all been feeling it. 
Um, if you have, please comment below what's going on with you. If you um, would like to share, I'm interested to hear and see what's going on with all of you. Okay. At this time, I would like to call in the angels of loving nature for this collective reading for your highest good and for the good of others. Let me be a clear and open channel to the messages coming through today. And these keep going in sideways. And then when I try to push it regular, it gets stuck. <clears throat> so there's definitely a sign there. Okay. All right, so what is my life's purpose? We're gonna start out with the tea leaves, even though we kind of already have um, a little bit of a topic going on here. Um, there's a lot here to hold. This is really hard to shuffle. There's some meaning in that as well. Okay, really feeling drawn to that one and that one. Okay, that one too. Okay. I feel like there's um, a lot of burden. Ooh, okay. Okay, that's a lot of tea leaves. Uh, I don't usually take that many, but that's what spirit wants. That's what we're gonna take. Okay. All right, so we have success. Let's see if I can get this light better. There we go. We shine your light. Please get out of the darkness for the success. Vase, secret admirer. Love. August. Rose. Romance is in the air. A lot of love going on. Cat. Two-faced friend, right? And there is that kind of Leo energy there. Leo the lion. Casket, someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. June. Let's see, we're in August right now. So maybe sometime between August and next June. Claw, be careful. Do not take risks. Basket, recognition, reward for merit. And older woman, dealings or relationship with an older woman. Okay. All right, spirit. What is our life's purpose? The purpose with this situation, this relationship, this job. Mm -hmm. What is it that we need to know? Okay, now this is gonna be you. This is the Two of Cups. So you need to bring together some sort of union. This could be romantic. This could be a business union as well. They're in business suits here. Um, I believe 
that these are of the same sex here, um, which doesn't really necessarily mean anything um, because you can have union with same sex as well romantically. But I do really get a strong feeling of having um, this business connection and maybe going out to coffee or tea and discussing some sort of situation. Okay, your weakness. Queen of Pentacles. I don't know, your weakness. Um, and this is somebody who is nurturing their their spirituality. This is nurturing their abundance. So this could be financial. Um, maybe your weakness is that you're too old, right? Because this is an old like grandmother um, weaving or knitting. You know, and in job situations, they do say, like, they don't dis discriminate against, like, your age, your sex, um, your race. But I really feel like <laughs> um, they do, right? And we have all these things about being so diverse anymore that it really is discriminating you against those things because... If you are a white woman, let's say, because I am, um, but they need someone of color or another race that is male, you, you know, obviously I am not that. So they're already going to discriminate against me um, just based on that alone and not necessarily of all these talents that I have, right, on my shelf and my history that I have collected. So it's like judging the book by its cover. But you have a lot of talent and it, it's holding you back. And that's something that you can't control. Okay, current situation. I get this card all the time. The Magician. This is having all of your tools. You know, here we have the Pentacles, the Wand, uh, the Sword, and um, the Cup. It's gathering up all the elements, creating the smoke here. And the smoke here is in the shape of a butterfly. So this is the rebirth, the new beginning. Coming out of that cocoon, you've been in a cocoon for a really long time. You know, sitting here knitting in your home, you need to like get out more. gather your tools and your knowledge and all these things that you have to offer here okay your strength king of wands i get this card a lot too so this is somebody that's in control um of their passions this is somebody who is juggling a lot of different things, putting on a show. This is like the interview process of showing your strengths and what you can do, what your passions are. Even though you're like out in the desert here, you still have this lively energy and you're in your suit. It looks like the same suit here as this rabbit. So there's some transformation here from being this barefoot rabbit and your ears all like tied up here. Um, 
it looks like with a, a bandage, it's like you're not hearing something, right? Um, you're really relaxed here, and here you're really dressed up, dressed to impress. With this wing back chair, which is really holding in all that heat and that passion. And having control. And then it has the claw feet. And right, we have the claw here. Be careful. Do not take risks. So I think that the strength of not taking risk is um, having control and kind of planning this out right before you take the action. Like you have to practice this a lot in order to be able to do this and have this balance. It's not just something that you can do. I mean, you might have beginner's luck. But usually it takes practice. <clears throat> like the father, the knowledge, um, you know, teaching, teaching their children about the ways of life. Okay, um, and your purpose. Three of Pentacles is to build this like this community garden to get together with others. Um, it really has this kind of architectural aspect to it. Like you have your boss there, and then you have somebody else standing there looking at the plans. You're on the ladder doing the work, designing it, picking that pentacle, picking that fruit, picking the flower. <clears throat> you could even just be putting the pentacle in this rose bush, coming together, being creative, All right? This is interior design. I feel like this reading is really for me. Because that's definitely the energy that I brought. Um, it's the energy I'm sitting in. And you're in this beautiful garden. And we have the devil. This is the uh, secondary purpose. <clears throat> it's six o'clock. Once again, we have this rabbit here. He is buttering his bread. Um, we're still sitting here at this, this tea party here, right? Once again, making this huge mess. There's like this huge mess of laying all the cards out. Bread and jelly, bread and butter. Um, it's like this is the beginning of the conversation and we're really getting in depth here. Yeah, yeah we're sitting down now, right? It's now six o'clock in the evening, I feel like. You started this in the morning, now it's the evening. Um, you've had a lot of conversation about this with this interview really starting to get to know each other and kind of lay out these plans you know let's let's really figure this out you know let's make these plans here we're gonna discuss it over our tea and our our desserts we have some broken plates here you know it's getting a little a little crazy, I feel like, like a little out of control. Um, it's very like passionate, right? 
something happened to where this plate has broken because there was a lot of passion. It could have been an argument. It could have just been excitement. Okay, main lesson to be learned. Five of Cups. You're not tall enough to reach these three cups that are on top of the table and are spilling over the table here and kind of creating these like waterfalls. They almost even look like, um, when, it, when it's snowing icicles because they look like they're frozen over. This could even be like a really cold table, like cold stone ice cream where they put the ice cream out there and they, they mix everything together um, based on what you desire, what you ask for. But you're, you have these two cups that are already full and on the ground to where you can reach it. But you're trying to reach for something that's kind of out of your reach here, right? You're not tall enough. And you're kind of like in angst about this and you keep reaching for these things. And I feel like maybe you even shook the table a little bit, right? Maybe that's why some of these plates are broken because you're shaking this table and it's causing this to fall over. And now you've already lost everything that was inside of these cups. Okay, five is about changes, the changes of your emotions. reaching to this higher level in your emotion and what it is that you actually want. Yeah, you do have these things here and you are grateful for them because you really want these things here. And you just have to keep reaching for them and figure out how are you going to get up there. And then once you get up there, you can set them back up and refill the cups. Okay, your desires, hopes, and fears. Page of Wands. Get this card a lot too about like messages that keep popping up. Spirit keeps saying the same thing. This is about new beginnings, the page, um, the infancy of something, the passions that you have. This is fast movement. feel like your fear here is that you're going to get to this place and you're not going to know what to do with it. Now you're out in the middle of the desert. Right here you're at the desert again. Having this interview, playing your tricks, showing what you got. Um, and since you've getting to know each other, you're kind of relaxing a little bit. You're here in your overalls now. You don't have a suit on. There's things that need to be learned and studied. Um, the fear is like of you going too fast. And now you're not quite sure what to do. What is your next step? How do I get that water now that I'm in the middle of the desert? How am I gonna stay hydrated? And healthy. And nourished. Okay. What you don't know. Two of swords. Yeah, you're, you're blind here. You don't know which direction to go into. 
It's like any mini money mo. <laughs> You're afraid of the unknown, the unseen. Because there could be something scary. The Cheshire Chesh, Cheshire cat. <laughs> he was kind of a uh, little bit wicked. You know, kind of watching over you here. Um yeah, being here out at the beach, sitting on this bench, which is like really out of place. Um, having your two swords trying to decide what is it that you want to do? Do you want to just sit here? Do you want to get up and walk away? Do you want to get up and walk into this water? don't know. Queen of Cups. <laughs> and I keep getting this card in the readings for the same question that I keep asking, which I feel like this is really speaking to me, like I said. And she's at the beach. And the Queen is about nurturing your emotions and you know, knowing your worth, holding up that trophy, really enjoying it, being in power, having the power. So for me, I keep trying to decide, should I be moving to the ocean? Should I be moving somewhere else? Because I'm in the mountains right now, which is super dry and there's fires everywhere. And I really want this water. And here's that, that mother sitting here on the beach in her, on her throne, her golden throne. She got the cup. feel like what you don't know is right there in front of you. You just need to open your eyes and take a look at it. Okay. Advice to achieve your hopes. The full new beginnings. Take that leap of faith that you're not going to fall in that deep, dark hole and become trapped. You're going to jump over it. You're going to get to the other side. You're going to be in this green lush grass with this water flowing. The Hierophant. Here's that cat again, but the cat's shown itself to you. It's like, don't take advice from others. <laughs> Go against the tradition. This is not a traditional deck. The Hierophant is about traditions. And religion. Like, my religion is the beach. That's where I go when I feel calm. And grounded. Like I said, this cat's like tricky, right? It keeps appearing and disappearing. It's like trying to give you advice of which way you should go and what you should do. Uh, there's another cat here too, but it's not the same cat. It's a different cat. This is more like your house cat. Somebody that's more of trying to protect you. <laughs> and the Ace of Cups. This is the offering to fill your cup. This is the gift. 
there's that flow of water. Now that you've gotten those cups, right? I said, once you get up there, you can stand them up. Stand them up and refill them. So you're not in the state of lack. Of constantly reaching higher for something that you cannot get. This is like ever flowing. It's... It's the Courage card. It's the Leo card with the infinity symbol. It's ever flowing. It's continuous. It's something to be admired in a museum. This is a picture on the wall. This is that trophy. Something of value. With all this gold again. So much gold. Golden abundance. Fill, fill your own cup. Nobody else is there to do it for you. Okay, it's just really interesting because it's like this cup is like part of the picture but it's also not part of the picture there's also a beach side right here the bank right lots of abundance financially emotionally tea usually has a lot of herbs in it it's very healing for your body and your soul I almost feel like these are um, kind of the same here, right? She's holding up her hand here and you're looking at it from one perspective. And if she, if you were on the other side of the throne here, you would see that her hand looks more like this, holding this goblet, this cup. So there's another perspective that you need to look at, right? Instead of being um, in that state of lack, we're filling this cup, which is kind of like levitating. It's in the picture, but it's not in the picture because this is definitely not in the picture. But this is kind of like, it's unsure of if it is or not. And it's part of this, this tea party that we're having. filling that cup so I think if this is like the career and the interview like you're going to get that job this is somebody offering you something right filling your cup with the tea and it's going to be ever flowing and abundant for you bring you a lot of joy it's going to give you pause though to think about it like I said don't listen to others and um, what they have to say here's the strength card on the bottom I was feeling drawn to turn it over that's that Leo energy Okay, it's like the damsel in distress. It's kind of, it's being scared in the middle of the forest here. Something has spooked you, but you need to have the strength to move forward. To move on. Get yourself out of that darkness. Be the light. Fill your cup. Keep reaching and soaring for these other cups here. Eventually you're going to get it. Six 
self-love. Show me how to love myself. Show me how to take care of the inner child. Show me how to be kind within. When you step into self-forgiveness, so much can change on the outside. Right? This is that self-love, right? Not worrying about how your loved ones are going to feel about the situation that you're trying to create for yourself so that you can shine bright. Be this light. You just need to worry about yourself. Oh, there's a bunch of them here. Okay. See, once again, the spirit wants to give me a bunch of cards when I only want one. Okay. Empowerment. When you ask the divine to take over, you get pulled into your own authentic power. It's a force of inner love. It wants your wholeness and magnificence. Unfold my true and radiant self, dear Lord. Yeah. Okay, and wants is in capital letters, all capitals. So it's very emphasized. It's a force of inner love that wants your wholeness and magnificence. Well, it's about knowing your worth. Being enough. <laughs> the innermost heart says, you are enough. Nowhere to go, nothing to get, nothing to change. You need to grow more deserving. You, yes you, are love. Yeah, so no matter what you decide, you're still enough. Even if you don't go anywhere new, if you don't make a change, there's nothing for you to get. Right, with those cups you're reaching for, you are enough. You don't need this job or this situation to make you feel empowered. Compassion. As you pray each day for greater compassion, a new self is born, drawing new people and experiences. Dear Lord, help me feel ever deepening self acceptance. May I see myself as you see me. Yeah, this is going back to being enough. A new self is born. This is that butterfly here that that rebirth, the new beginning, drawing new people and experiences, right? We're having this collaboration, going to a new area. All right, let's do another one of these to end it up. Great spirit, give me one more card tie up this reading. I have to close my eyes for these ones because they are uh, two-sided and I can kind of see them. Okay. My truth is as pure as I react and I react with benevolence. Ben benevolence benevolence <laughs> it's tough but being nice to all humans creatures and aliens is the honorable play even if a meanie weenie is slandering criticizing or giving you a swirly you don't know what kind of stink a meanie has been subjected to whether it be emotional trauma or little shit in their pants Right, and I was talking about Mercury and retrograde and having miscommunications. And I've had a couple of people really come at me in the past few days. Um, li literally in, in real life, um, driving, they were upset 
that it was going too slow while I was trying to figure out directions on which way I was going. And uh, they were driving way erratically and honking their horn and going crazy. Um, I had somebody coming at me in an email because of a miscommunication of uh, having a wrong email and um, just kind of coming at me like, well, I don't know what's going on in her life, but I really wish her the best, but not like really wishing me the best. And, uh, you know, it was just an honest mistake that's, you know, something that could have totally easily been corrected, but um, really wanted to come at me and I've been dealing with a lot of things in my own life and I understand that things are frustrating. It was also frustrating for me because I felt like they were a no-show. And uh, they thought I was a no-show, but we were both sitting there waiting for each other. So, you know, things are kind of being stopped up. Things are slowing down. Things are having to be reflected upon where you have to stop and like control your emotions and not get angry about this. Um, it's still going to affect me and how I'm being treated and talked to when I really only set out the best intentions and in everything that I do. And then I'm treated like, I'm doing something wrong because somebody else doesn't like it. Um, I really did react badly to the person driving because they were putting other people in danger. You know, if there's people walking in a residential area and you're going 45 and getting up on your bumper and honking your horn and driving erratically and then Um, my phone just shut off. Why? I don't understand. Um, so I did act, react badly to the person driving. Um, instead of just slowing down and taking your time and just being patient, don't act erratically um, and get in somebody's face. You have no idea what they're going through. So... I don't know. I went into this whole tangent about it. But uh, trauma is literally shit in their pants. Okay. Reacting to meanies by being a meanie is only a win for team meanie. Instead, smile and radiate kindness towards the troubled soul. Your truth is as pure as how you react. Lead by example and with benevolence. It gives permission to the me need to heal, right? So I probably should have been more, uh, I guess, nice and just smiled at the person and been like, sorry, I was going so slow, but I did tell them to F off and gave them the bird. Um, but I thought that their reactions were totally uncalled for and, um, you know, I'm, I'm going through some stuff. So, you know, it's like, just be kind at all times to other people you have no idea what they're going through in their life i'm gonna pick one more i transform my darkness into lasers of light your shadow is an is as important as your light your oneness with the universe includes both parts of the shadow such as anger frustration nativity and irritation are packed with energy which means they can be used constructively to fire up your motivation muscles. These dark expressions can fuel a better life with deeper relationships and more meaning. If you find yourself consumed with darkness, transform the energy into lasers of positivity. The tree of life cannot grow to kiss heaven unless the roots reach deep into hell. From chaos comes expansion. Yeah. For sure. Right, and this is coming out of that darkness and shining your light, um, which is what we started out with. And really just kind of um, 
take that negative energy and turn it into something positive. Okay, have that strength. Okay, thank you for being here with me. Uh, I do really feel like that was very specific to me and what's going on with me and saying like my energy is really strong right now, even though I try to uh, kind of get rid of it and vanish it away before the reading so it wasn't influencing what I had to say, but I do feel like this is really going on for the collective. Like everybody seems so angry and upset about seemingly small things and it's time to transform and become love and you know have that self-love the empowerment being enough having the compassion right that sums it all up right there um I feel like you really do need to go for what you want. Reach for those cups and then fill them. Stand them up and refill them. You know, we're all going to have times of um, tripping or toppling over or breaking that glass. Um, it's like, don't cry over spilt milk. Just clean it up. <laughs> right? And then refill your cup. Get another glass of milk. Okay. Thank you for being here with me. Love you. Take care of your energy right now in this Mercury and retrograde. Um, and just share your love with others and find your own path. Okay. I love you all. Bye. I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.